Now this is what this LEGO Star Wars set would look like in 2024. Back in 1999, LEGO released set number 7101 Lightsaber Duel, and this was found in stores for only $5.99. And if you didn't know, this LEGO Star Wars set was actually the first ever LEGO set my parents picked up for me as a kid. And who didn't like that amazing scene in Phantom Menace when Darth Maul comes rolling up on Qui-Gon Jinn in Tatooine? I figured this would be a perfect opportunity to create another micro series here on my channel alongside of my mocks by getting old and current LEGO Star Wars sets and giving them a twist and making them our own. So I'm hoping this will be the start of something fun here on my channel. Now I didn't buy this LEGO set new, but if you wanted to get it new, factory sealed in modern time, you're looking at about $80 to $120 but I got mine used for about $40, which really isn't too bad. Now upon opening this LEGO Star Wars set, you'll receive 50 pieces total. Now mine came about 99% complete and all it was missing was this little green lightsaber top. Well, not this exact one, but you can find something like this on Bricklink for less than five cents. So I'll just add it to my next order and replace it if I really want to. But for now, the part I have works just fine. Now after building the lightsaber duel, you'll be left with a really nostalgic scene from The Phantom Menace, which includes a small build of a moisture water evaporator, as seen quite often in Tatooine, which definitely gives this LEGO set some life. Then you'll have two really awesome minifigures, which of course are Qui-Gon Jinn and everyone's favorite Sith, Darth Maul. And this set also includes one Bloodfin speeder bike. Now the finished product for me is 100% a throwback to when I was younger, and it definitely recreates that amazing scene from my favorite Star Wars film. And if your heart so desires, this box actually displays a few alternate builds that you can create. I definitely think they're a bit strange, but hey, if it works for you and you like them, that's all that matters. But like I stated in the beginning of this video, let's give this thing a modern day twist. So let's go grab some parts and get to building. First off, I'm going to create a modern day looking base for this diorama using a method that I've seen a few other YouTubers do as well. This method allows you to stack bricks and create a flat and parallel surface that you can use for your mocks. This allows for an easy insert and takeaway process that gives you a perfect and fast diorama setup. So in our case, we're gonna be using one of my pre-made setups that I created when I first tried out this technique. And since our build is actually gonna be based off of Tatooine, we wanna use those corresponding colors to match just that. Now onto the Bloodfin, AKA Darth Maul speeder bike. Yeah, I didn't know that was the name either, but it's time to create our own version of this Sith speeder bike. Now I know LEGO just created a new Bloodfin that came with the Sith Infiltrator set that just released, but that one looked a bit strange to me. So let's get this process started and get our own version made. I really wanted to create something special with this Bloodfin just because it is the star of the show basically with this LEGO set, as well as in that scene of the film. Now after hours and hours of trying to design something special, I finally got it. Here is my version of Darth Maul's Bloodfin speeder bike, and boy do I really like how this thing came out. I really tried to incorporate as many of the details as humanly possible to try and keep it also in scale with the LEGO minifigure, and I think I did a pretty good job considering these angles. Next up, we're going to be creating a LEGO Moisture Tatooine Water Vaporator. Now I mean, this wasn't actually present during the film, but it was a really nice touch to this LEGO Star Wars set, in my opinion, it definitely really needed something to help balance this set and make it more of a fun and playable experience at the time. Now I got this water evaporator from my bulk buy a while ago, and I never broke it down. It always caught my eye and gave me the idea to build a new version of it someday, and well, I guess that day is today. And after some time of building, we finally got it. Here's my version of a LEGO Tatooine Moisture Water Vaporator. I figured I'd give it some close-up detail, which includes four antennas that pays homage to the original LEGO Star Wars set, and I also added in some other micro details, which gives this build a modern-day look. And I also wanted to include at least one DRK-1 Dark Eye Probe Droid. These are the droids that you can see Darth Maul sending out in episode one. Just like the water vaporator, this isn't something necessarily seen in this exact part of the film, but it adds more detail to this diorama. I stumbled across Dark Kirk's design and I thought it looked phenomenal, so I decided to use this and not go with my own this time around. I changed a few parts out on it, but I think it came out great. I'll link down below if you wanna purchase the instructions from him as well. Now that we have the builds all completed and set, it's time to move on to the minifigures. When I look at these original minifigures, it brings me so much nostalgia. It reminds me of when I was a kid and it really reverses the clock. If you didn't know, this LEGO Star Wars set was the very first set to introduce a Qui-Gon Jinn and Darth Maul minifigure at the time. And let me tell you, five-year-old me at the time was so stoked. But since we were making this a modern day looking set for 2024, I decided to bricklink a Qui-Gon Jinn that released in that recent Darth Maul Sith Infiltrator back in May. And if you're wanting to pick something like this up in the current USA BrickLink market, you're looking around $11, which is actually not too bad considering it comes with a really neat poncho that I love using to decorate my other minifigures with. Kind of like this Jedi minifigure that I'm working on on my Felucia mock series here on my channel. Now for the star of the show, Darth Maul. 
I had such a hard time deciding on which Darth Maul minifigure I wanted to use, but hey, how can you not use the new Darth Maul that just released? No, not this Sith Infiltrator one, definitely not that one. I am talking about the new 25th anniversary Darth Maul minifigure that released in the 2024 Visual Dictionary this year. Now that we have our minifigures and builds all good, it's time to show you the completed product. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps up this video. Let me know in the comments section down below what other LEGO Star Wars sets we should give a modern day twist to. I would love to hear. But with all that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed and tap that notification bell to be notified when I do drop a new video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.